to things around a little bit uh, on side of Boom Esports, and they will have uh, Mid Mars yeah. at the disposition for Doom. I think they wanted to have Doom uh, as a counter to the lane in against the Enchantress to be able to eat the creep uh, that uh, whatever Enchantress brings. They're gonna take it and use it against them. Stop her pressure early on. Pretty much. Yeah, that's a pretty solid idea as so we're gonna head ourselves into game one of this best of three. And again, Prepare an important for series for Boom, right? Looking towards TI. If they're able to take down LGD, it will secure them that spot at the International, and also kind of an interesting series for yeah. trade in the, the early days, spam out your spells, gather up the water runes, but we have seen LGD really put a lot of emphasis on the four minute rune to come in and guard it for nothing to say, and maybe even gank this mark. This is how PSG LGD has been playing so far, every single time there is not one Sometimes even two supports going for that uh, four-minute water room. Yeah, yeah. When you've got Enchantress and Earthshaker, they are they exceptionally good. Move. Yeah, they, they love it. You don't necessarily need to move with the Enchantress. You can send the creep and potentially deny yeah. that rune if you see Mars coming to it. True, true. How's Faceless Boy doing? Three and one against Venomancers, two and zero. Oh. So so far so good for Ame. ESG LGD did pick that Enchantress to have Nature Attendance level one. Amos found the chain lightning creep. And down bottom, Shin Q just gonna drag the wave around. Jackie gonna make lane meet in between tier one, tier two down bottom. Skem trying to play aggressively here, but there are two dire heroes nearby. So a little more challenging for the Dazzle to get any denies or control that creep equally as he would want. Skem likes to play a dangerous game. Could potentially get Fisher here. Oh, it's on the wrong side, but Yi up at top. And Chantress and the Nature's Attendance at level 1. With the Tango going, more than enough heal. While Ame still has that ability go. to jump they away. Doom. They've caught him inside the tree. He's a time walk out. Tim is very near death. Gets out another zap, but first blood spill. And Chantress picks it up. And this lane, which boom, do spot Tim's roaming around here. There was a mana burn back onto the Enchantress. Invis grabbed by the Mars. He's level six and ready to fight. Two heroes here. Oh, we all to go straight for nothing to say. Catches him against the edge of the arena. Misses the God Review though. And oh, he just jumps straight over it. No Colosseum can hold this man in. And the turn around from Jim Q and Y now. Straight onto him with a Thunder God's Wrath. LGD strike back, Skem dies as well. And Tim's, do they have another slow? No more stuns, Jim Q out of mana. LGD so fortunate. This looked like Olympic Games, pretty much, and uh, you... <laughs> he is the god of Olympus at the end of the day, so Radiant's manages uh, to get the gold medal attack. after the jump uh, and gets the kill. Now, what's he doing, the long jump, the triple jump? Or is he uh, going for that nice little backflip over the bar? The high jump, is it called? Get over the, the walls of that production. Is under attack. Nasty little creep. Well, he's got his plague wards in the mid lane, as it looks like. The Enchantress just sends the Wild Wing with the remaining time on it to hit the tower. LGD smoking now, though. Enchantress and Earthshaker are pretty good at continual fighting without really relying on any cooldowns. As long as they've got Creeps and Fisher, they can rely on the Zeus to do the big damage. And if they find the Mars here with a Heavenly Jump and a Fisher there, nothing to say why and Jin Q they will chip away at him. There's no massive burst, but they should find this in the end. He'll spear and catch the Zeus on the way out. It's a good one to delay their advance forward. And Yopaj, maybe he's back in the trees, far enough away from LGD to survive. Nice done by Boom. This was initiation from nothing to... Every player is on the same page, snapping into action quickly. As we just saw Jackie, maybe waste his Wukong's command, attempting on the Faceless Void, but Enchantress places herself in harm's way, tags the gank for the rest of her team. No poison over leveled up just yet for the Venno. Opting to max out the Plague Wards. Pretty Wants to be able to Boom. protect himself against uh, Arena and oh. Venomancer. He's already used Heavenly Jump. Oh, I don't think a chance to save him here. They've caught out the Zeus as he went for the Arcane Rune. Army does jump in and out. Throws the Reverse Uno card in there as FBZ being focused by Faith Beyond. And he's left all alone to his own devices with a grave and a bit of backup from his Doom and Dazzle. Still not enough to keep the Venno alive. One for one trade, but Boom gonna be happy they've killed the Zeus. He's on the sidelines for 30 seconds. Get a 3, 4, 5k lead 20 minutes in. There's very little chance of coming back into it. As Yoplash, he's being focused down quickly by nothing to say and blown up before there's even a grave. Scam on the run back now. Jackie just gonna leap across the 
across the treetops there. LGD coming high ground though. The Battle of Strike connects on in. Jim Q dives into the back line. And Wukong is, is removed out. Monkey King has bailed on this. They've lost three heroes. And the fourth one is about a four. FBZ hunted down by LGD. And that 4K lead turns into five. High ground. Faith Bian as well. Knowing that with his BKB, there's very little that can oh, be captured. The That's so quick! The reactions on this man stop Tim's initiation, Jackie. He's got to Wukong's to try and battle into LGD, but that expenditure that they could not afford. Nothing to say. He's in the middle of the arena, but doesn't give a damn about this. Arm A will turn and hit into Jackie, and the age is not even being claimed. The two man chrono is LGD clear through boom, and surely this game is out of their hands now. What a beautiful play there from uh, Faith Beyond. They did have an Observer Ward on the high ground, so he pre-casts uh, Yul's Oops. Uh, so a bit of a... Unusual victory. Unusual, indeed, victory there. Clever King, yeah. not gonna save you again, Zeus. Nah, he's got the vision. The Grave will buy a bit of time. Doom are filtering in to try and get in. Sims will Doom the Zeus, but FBZ already dead. Nothing to say, but the Echo Slam from Jim Q holds the Doom in place, and Yopash will his arena. He'll hold a couple of them inside. Jackie Yule's up now. A two for one so far as the Wukong will force LGD to reset, but Arme's hunting for the Dazzle. Now moves back in, looks for Jackie, stuns him up, stops any retreat, and they'll bring this Monkey King down, dethroned and killed off. They're toying with Monkey King, uh, Fate Beyond once again, Yule Scepter coming into a play touch against Phenomancer and also not allowing Doom to use the ulti the way he wants to. And another catch. The Grave is there. Yopash spearing up the Faith Beyond Death Prophet, but they've killed off Skim. And Tim's, yes, you doomed the DP, but what next for the two-man Chrono? In comes Army. We'll kill off the Monkey King. Regicide committed and a, a, Oh, it's a team wipe. He might actually be one if they find SPZ in the back. The Void makes the move forward. LGD, five heroes strong. We'll clear out Boom! No response! And LGD gonna start moving towards... The so they will position themselves. Let's see who decides to break the smoke. Oh, he misses the wall stop. Didn't catch in Q somehow. Still inside the arena. Stunned up and pinned against the Coliseum. Dead now for a minute. Boom gets something, but how much are they gonna lose on the way back? That's always the question. Because Tim's maybe being chased. Good high ground hold from Boom. LGD, no. And they are well aware. Well, they don't want to give away any more freebies. They're gonna move into the pits, in fact. Altis are getting ready available. Colonel will be up soon. Dead Prophet. Not online for 60 seconds, but look at the lanes. Mid lane has been pushed in, and so is top lane. So they're not gonna be able to address this Roshan one more time. It's gonna be Aegis for Ame and Shard. Well, everyone has a shard, so I'm yeah. not sure if he's gonna be big uh, uh, And why oh. kills it immediately, all right. Well, Faith Bound was trying to hit the Aegis as well. They're trolling. Oh, they jump in. Tim's the Doom. Gonna get reflected back onto him. Oh, he's stuck to God's wrath. They take down Tim's and FBZ, even inside the Golden Wukong. They're aiming for nothing to say, but a chrono from our mate. It'll be here to finish this one off. GG called. <laughs> PSG LGD unknock with some clutch play. Yeah, beautiful stuff. Tim's trapped in the shards. Tag team from Jin Q chasing this tiny all the way back into his jungle. Oh, can he finish this off? There's wind lace on Tim's, but a few more punches. The deny from the neutral is not going to come. Jin Q drawing first blood. Allowed them to play aggressive on Medusa. Well, that Medusa play doesn't threaten a, a kill on that profit ever. Aggressive on top as well from LGD. Straight on to Scam, forcing Nature's attendance out. FBZ so far not under too much pressure, not having any difficulties in the lane. But on go again from Arme. Takes down the Enchantress with a few swipes. Already had those stacks up and running. And now the toss back. Tim sends Jinky on the tower. Jackie gonna pick up the kill. Boom, strike you back when they need it most. Makes him much tankier, giving you those stats. And Yopage finds himself a haste room. Oh, Skem up top again. Arme straight into the back of Bambi and FPZ. Not much he can do here unless it's caught from Yopage. Turns it back on them. Arme just continues to fight, stacking up the Fury Swipes, but with that orb from Yopage, making short work of the bear. This is the rotation that they needed. The good pickup 
haste from Puck, uh, Tipa rotation, they get a kill on Ursa pre-level 6, uh, trying to stabilize uh, lane for Timbersaw, but Konka, he's massive, 47 CS, uh, level 7, using a boat. This might be a solo kill on Tim's. Oh, he's just under tower, killing the tiny. That was a toss back by Tim's. Body blocks from Yopage, but no stuns. Nothing to say, very wisely TPs away. Understands that he doesn't even need to pop a fairy fire, because a bit of a different item build when you play this matchup. You don't necessarily need to go for the bottle. Instead, going for the double bracer, you get it earlier, and uh, you continue to dominate the matchup. With oh, it misses. Yeah. He might be in trouble. By in trouble, I mean dead. dead. Oh. The second chain doesn't miss. He's back in the trees and he TPs. And even though they expected it, and Chandras will be the one to put her body in harm's way. Floated and torrented. Yopage comes in with a two hero coil, but a snowball in the back. Try and aim on Jackie with a tag team going. Some good damage there, but Tim's with the avalanche holds oh, he's got the aggression start. back. Healing up. Beyond. Never mind. He's about to die. Perk with the orb will finish it off. A toss forward though. Yopage, he wants more. Waiting Rift to silence up Jin Q. Nine minute rune bottled by the puck in the middle of battle. Not giving anything away to this Tusk. It will take a while to chase him down, but the Avalanche and another orb will secure this kill for sure. He's and buying both. time. He's trying to get the, on a mid lane snowball. Ooh, not in range. Needs to be able to find the farm. We are talking about uh, four, five, six minutes potentially. And then after the Scardi, will it just be rapier time, do you reckon? Radiant Get that bonus damage, try and finish things up. Oh, oh Arme. That's a lot of damage from MPZ. A toss up, and inside the coil, Arme's Ursa. A huge kill for Boom. They're gonna find him. A backup, not available for him. Okay. It's over a thousand gold. That's queued up. <laughs> what's, wait, what's... Okay. Well, I mean, more attacks, more ghosts. Pretty good against the Medusa. If only she actually goes for it. Oh, oh, the catch. Now Jin Q. Blow him up with a timber saw. A coil coming in from Yopage as well. Ursa. He snaps it. He's Yules. He does still have the enrage and maybe a blink away. But the damage will come over the top of Army. Faith beyond and nothing to say. Arriving on the scene here to look towards the timber saw kill. The stone gate is good and the physical damage from Jackie. All oh, they're turning it here. Low. He has to self Yules. Ursa very low to the mech and the yield from one. Keeping LGD topped up. It's nothing to say. TP's home. No stones to stop him. But why will be avalanched? Catching out a couple of kills here. LGD lose three. Yeah, they're pinging Roshan. Losing three heroes. Uh, unfortunately not. Oh. A big team fight win here for them. Could be huge if they find Faith Beyond. The DP demolished. Dead for 50 seconds and with no buyback on her. Boom, they could walk into the pit. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Ame. Lurking around the Roche pit, there is a Sentry Ward drop, which is going to get to this Observer dewarded. 30 seconds without Dead Prophet. Even if he had buyback, uh, there would still be no exorcism. This is where a DD rune spawns with Medusa. Oh, it's a regen rune bottom. Only, if only. Heal. And into Roche they go. Oh, Arme, straight on FBZ. Yours up in the air and has caught the Medusa out with the torrent and the boat. Jackie, she's out of been mana. Blown up so quickly. LGD, one hero down, still fighting. Can Yopan steal it? He made the slot. Let's see if he's going to be able to jump in. Bailing no out. Triangle in towards mid. Dyer's Top lane, you've got that Timber Sword trying to cut waves. I don't think LGD are having any of this nonsense though. They'll track back and look for FBZ. He does have a TP, but they've got tons of ways to cancel it. Chains to the low ground, but he's stuck there. He has to shack the whirling death. Self Yules comes up. But Faith Beyond has nothing to say. They've got the torrent to play straight into the timber saw. Kill him off. And another hero dead for about a minute. Oh, Means LGD are going to be gunning down this mid lane. With this one. Yeah, no vision to spot him either. Scan did connect. Radiant have a decent idea of where LGD are. Armory, he just goes straight onto the Dusa, forces the Stone Gaze. E Blade to try save. Timbers with a call cool snap. Moves in, but Faith Beyond BKB's up and doesn't get caught. Armory has BKB Satanic in the hand of God. The heels come in. They'll chase FPZ down. Timber Saw moving out. Tiny getting punched into the sky. Killed off. Still nice. Fury five, five charges on Medusa. Arme wants Arme. to fight. He's diamond tier threes, but gives up on that. Decides just to calm down a little bit. Chaos and making noise everywhere that they possibly can, but Yopan, all the oddest there, pops out of the hex. Arme with the help of the boat, and Jin Q snowballing in, looking to give chase. Avalanche Toss is going to take down the Tusk, though. The rest of LGD, they were not interested in following through on the Tusk's initiation.
A little too aggressive from Jin Q. Like, okay. Yo, Flash. Next up. Eodis gone cool down. Oh, the Enchantress dismantled. The Sarge from Tox back on the Earth of them. He's got the Hand of God and the Satanic to play with. BKB's up and chases FPZ. E Blade and the Yule Scepter. They're overlapped. FPZ being focused. Nothing to say in Faith Beyond. They are forcing Boom to split away from the Medusa. Picking out the right back. No one wants to attack it. They can't. LGD plant themselves in this radiant high ground area. Controlling Triangle. And keeping Roshan under lock and key. Why well, does finally have that Aghanim Scepter that you mentioned. Now it's uh, coming in clutch. The tossbacks to be able to snap the coil. Not going to be as effective anymore. Very good point. And back to... Back to plan B here from Boone, play under their vision. So important for them to get the jump. Jim Q, the one that gets spotted, they throw the coil, the Scarty slow. Avalanche comes in from Tim's as well, but FBZ, he's annihilated, he went aggressive. Jackie, he's been caught out as well, the boat lands it on the Medusa. Puck trying to stab into the back lines and deal with them, but LGD reset it. Oh, Don's back, he does have cheese available. He does indeed. As Boom could come back in for round two. A difficult prospect for them, though. There's Army way with too Aegis. much stuff on the ground. Cleave from Kanka, these hexes. Ursa locking onto a target. The ghost from that prophet, whether it's exorcism or just the casual attacks. And uh, why keeping his distance? I think Jin Q died in every single fight in the last, like, 15, 20 minutes. Are they going to hit fours? They're trying to force the refresher. Was used. Exo is available. They've got it again. You're right. Tier four is being brought down. They do have five back on the Dusa. They're going to have to use her as LGD will defend themselves even within the coil. Turning to fight with Faith Beyond. Another was saying, getting onto FBZ and Arme. He sees the Medusa. She just pulled back. Oh, she's moved back into the Agent Creeps and dead. LGD will secure this one now with no Medusa. Boom will have no damage. His buyback. Arme is still chasing. They'll get another one. Two heroes on the sidelines for Boom. Tim's sprinting back towards Fountain. Tail between legs. No way of defending this now. LGD far too strong. And GQ has a punch on the puck. GG's cool. Shot Pikachu 